Every once in a while, visitors of Allen County's parks stumble across spirits, which emerge from hiding, adorning trees along the trails. But behind the magic of these protectors of the forest are two brothers who hope their hobby will encourage others to explore the beauty out in 21 country. We hang these up uh, at the changes of the season. The philosophy of wood spirits started out in the Black Forest of Germany. Each tree contained a wood spirit that protected that tree, and it also protected the travelers in the forest. So what I do, I try not to hide these wood spirits, but also I locate them where they're not easily seen. So a lot of times I'll try to put them into a background that they blend into. Originally I was going through YouTube videos and saw this um, wood carver who does tutorials on how to carve these and he had one tutorial just dedicated to wood spirits. So then I thought, well what if I would just carve the faces in little pieces of wood and maybe I could hang them along the trails of the park and let people know and let people find them. Brother Jeff, he had the idea of hanging wood spirits, and I thought, you know, I've been doing that, and would he like to have a few more to add to his group? And uh, he said, sure, so I've been helping him uh, with his inventory, so to speak. I try to carve every day. Uh, you know, the best carvers say, even if it's 10 minutes, carve every day. So I really try to get a knife in my hand, a piece of wood, and do something. To do a spirit, like it's hung up on the trails, uh, it'll take between an hour and two hours, depending on the detail and whether the bark gets removed or if it's just simply cut into the piece. When it comes to wood spirits, uh, there's all kind of stories about what they are, but uh, it basically it's a being that is in the wood, and I consider taking a piece of wood, this happens to be mulberry, and looking at the wood, it has a knot in it, and so what may have be of interest to find what's in the wood. And the wood usually tells you what you can't do or what you can do. This is a piece of red bud. Uh, it had a knot in it, and I decided to make a whistler out of it. And so the knot became a whistle mouth. And so the wood kind of told me what I should do with it, and that's why they are all different. Matea was pretty much left intact uh, during the derecho that we had come through on June the 13th. Fox Island, a completely different story. A lot of what I've carved here recently are pieces of trees that were actually blown down during the storm. So to be able to pick those up and carve images on them and faces on them and have other individuals find them, I think that's a great connection. Is there a spirit there? I wouldn't say that there is, but certainly when I go into a forest, I, I just love the idea that it does speak to you. Because I've carved so many of them, I start to actually look at the trees differently and feel that maybe there, there is a spirit. It would be nice to think that the, each tree has its own spirit that's taking care of it and taking care of me as I travel along. Hopefully these draw you in. It takes you off the trail a little bit and maybe you find something that you never thought would have been there before. Well, now those uh, wooden spirits haven't revealed themselves just yet. You'll have to wait until next week. Uh, the Ormiston brothers will announce when those carvings are on the trails on the Fox Island and Matea County Park Facebook pages. And of course, good luck to you if you're searching for them.